Hey everyone, Jackie here from Interact, and today I'm going to show you how to create a digital product quiz using ChatGPT. Let's go. All of the prompts that you'll need to create this quiz are in this Interact blog post, Make a Quiz with AI. I will link it in the notes below so you can access it easily. I would recommend copying and pasting the prompts from this blog post each time because we do update the prompts based on the latest version of ChatGPT. If you scroll down a little bit, the first thing you're going to want to do is select the type of quiz that you want to make. Today we're going to be making a personality quiz because the different answers that someone is selecting in the quiz are going to relate to a specific result that we want them to get. So go ahead and click on personality quiz. All of the prompts that you need are in order on this page and they're outlined in these purple blocks. The highlighted text within the purple block is a modifier. So this is the content that you will be replacing with your own information to make your specific quiz. Okay, so once you are in ChatGPT, I'm here in the playground of OpenAI. You can see over here on the right, this is just the user interface that I prefer using. Over here on the right, you can see I have the mode set to chat and then the model to GPT-4. Uh, over on the left, I, this is where you will be pasting in all of the prompts from the blog post here in the system section. And then you'll paste them in one at a time and submit the prompt. And then AI will give you the output or the quiz content right here in the middle in the assistant section. So you can see I told AI I wanted to make a quiz titled which digital project product will turn your passion to profits. And then here in the middle, these are the, the outcomes or the results that people would get from this quiz, either selling an online course, a digital uh, content, or a community or membership site. So you'll go ahead and copy and paste in each of the prompts in order from your blog post. After you have your results, next up you will ask the quiz questions so you can uh, see here oops, all the way down, write five questions with three answer choices per question. Now you can absolutely change out the number of questions that you want to ask within your quiz. You can also change out the number of answers each question has. So this is like the multiple choice that your quiz takers will be selecting from. I always recommend to have the same number of answers per question as results that you have in your quiz. So in this case, I have three results, so I have three answers per question. And then in the middle, you can see ChatGPT gives me question one with answer A, so first answer, second answer, answer B, and the third answer down here, answer C. This part here where it says the answer score, is that's the quiz logic. So the next step of this will be adding this content into your Interact account, and you'll want to, with a personality quiz, correlate the answer someone's choosing to the result that they should get. And so this is ChatGPT telling you what that correlation looks like. If someone is choosing answer A, then they should go to result online course. If they're choosing answer B, they should go to the result digital content. And if they're answering answer C, then they should go to the membership or the community result. After you have your quiz questions, uh, then you'll want to ask ChatGPT for your opt-in form information. So after someone takes your quiz, that's when they're presented with the opt-in form where they can subscribe to your list. And you want that um, content on the opt-in form to really compel somebody to want to subscribe. So let them know what they should expect by signing up and your ideal customers very likely will sign up because they're gonna want this content from you. And what I mean by that is this quiz is for somebody who is looking to make more passive income, right? They're looking to turn their passion into profits. They're looking to sell that. Uh, and so you can do it through these three different ways. And so if I'm telling them here in the opt-in form to join our email list for these tips and resources to make more money online, your digital product, product journey, right? Then the, the right people, the people that I want to talk to, the people who are looking to turn their passion into profits or who are looking to make more passive income are going to want to subscribe. So AI gives me right here what I would want to include on that opt-in form. And then the last prompt, now that it's written all, your whole quiz uh, out here, we just want it to summarize the quiz into a brief description, which you will put onto your quiz cover. So why should somebody take this quiz? Who is the quiz for? This quiz is to discover your perfect, perfect digital product and unlock the potential to turn your passion into profits. Uh, 
go ahead and change up like as you're so again the next step is to be going to be to put this into interact um if there's any content in here that ai gives you that you would maybe say differently or maybe you would prefer um i don't know a specific question to be asked or specific answers to be within a question you can absolutely uh, exercise your own creative muscle and change around the uh, text that it's giving you replace things out with other answers or questions that you know your people would want to uh, answer. You can also add in things that tell you more about your audience if you're looking to gather more information on them. So even though AI can write out, I mean, it has written out this whole entire quiz for us, feel free to go ahead and make sort of like embellish it, make updates to it based on the way you talk, your own style, um, and what it is that you are trying to get out of this quiz. Now, I say that, but I also don't want you to to deter you from, you know, spending too much time here because AI does do a really good job of writing in your voice if you give it the opportunity to do so. And I guess what, not I guess, what I mean by that is if I'm scrolling back up over here where I added in the prompts, these outcomes, if you can write them in like uh, online course creator, if you can write this description in your voice here, um, feel free to let ChatGPT give you a start, right? But then maybe just embellish it so that it matches your voice, the way you would talk. Um, if you don't recommend online courses, then don't have an online course as the result, right? This is how you can get it to really relate to your brand. Um, but when you do add your own language in here, when AI goes to write out the quiz, the entire quiz will be written, all the questions and answers that it's that it's selecting for you or writing for you uh, are going to align with the way that you're talking or writing in here. So I would encourage you to add your own spin and your own flair. But also if you do that earlier on in the in the beginning prompts, right, like of the results that you're giving people, then AI does a really, really great job of putting the entire quiz for the rest of the prompts that you're adding into your voice. Once you've followed all of the ChatGPT prompts in the Interact blog post and ChatGPT has written out your quiz for you, the next step is to add this information into your Interact account so you can start using this quiz. I have a video linked below to show you the exact steps you need to do, what needs to be copied and pasted where in Interact, how to set up the logic for this quiz as well so that you can build that out. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. And once you add all of the information into your Interact account, this is what your quiz will look like. So we have the cover page here. Your leads will click on take quiz and then they will answer the questions that you've chosen or that AI has written for you. And then after they've answered the quiz questions, this is where the opt-in form ap appears. So this is where they will subscribe. And when they do, next up, they will see their result, which you can add in here. So what am I trying to say? This result explains why they got online course, right? But feel free to also add in here what you want them to do next. I would actually highly encourage you to do that so that the quiz just doesn't end here, um, but it creates a relationship that you can then keep growing with this lead. So if they got the online course result, what is it? What, what, what would you want them to do next? Guide them in that direction. If that's okay, go check your email because I just sent you some resources. Then just say that right here on the result page so they know to go check their email for this content. If you prefer that Interact makes a quiz for you, head over to ai.tryinteract.com, add in your website and any, any quiz ideas that you already have, your email, and hit make my quiz and we will be in touch with a quiz for your business.